Hey guys, Mr. Wahido Hake, back with another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing the i5. Put this up. i5 13600K. It uses the LGA 1700 socket, which is the newer one. Very nice. Okay, 13th gen. As you can tell from the 13 there. Uh, the two options for me were the i7 12. 700k versus this I decided to get this because it's a bit cheaper but also outperforms the i7 which is mad because this is an old this is a weaker CPU well it's meant to be anyway because it's i5 but it outperforms last gen's i7 and I've seen uh, benchmarks of this playing 2k games games in 2k it outperforms them um, and productivity wise it does very well as well it's one of the this is your best bang for book processor at the moment i would say beats all most of uh, amd's offerings as well that's why i chose this uh, processor it's currently on for sale for 330 pounds let's see how much i bought it for <coughs> I paid i5 oh so it was 379 pounds that's the value of it uh, it's currently on for sale for 330 I bought it at 222 pounds 99 pence guys so I saved 156 pounds just from waiting on sales and then use the discount on top <coughs> Okay, so this has six cores. Well, he has not six cores. He has fourteen cores. Okay, I'll go through the specs for you. I'll pull you up for a second. One second, guys. Okay, so this was made in a uh, 2022 quarter of the fourth, fourth quarter. It's end of the year, so it's still relatively new. Uh, it's got fourteen cores. Six of them are performance cores. Eight of them are efficiency cores. So it, it essentially is still a 6-core processor. Actually it's not, because all the processors will still be working at the same time. But 6 of them are more powerful basically. <coughs> it's got 20 threads. Uh, the max turbo it goes up to 5.1 GHz. And the efficiency max turbo is 3.9 GHz. Okay. And yeah, it's got 20 MB l2 cache and 24 mb intel smart cache for normal cache so it uses 125 watts of processor power for the base and 181 watts of maximum turbo power which is the same as the i7 so the reason i wanted something low power like this because uh, my what the hell is it called power supply isn't that big i chose it because it's the only one that has rgb on it from a reputable brand and yes i think it's 850 or 750 watts i don't know it's not terribly big so i need to save on the power guys so yeah it's a very powerful pc for the watts it's very efficient okay so this one also i chose this one over the i7 because it supports ddr5 so i've got that there you'll see that in another video Okay, so this does DDR5 5600MT. So that means it can do 5600MHz. 5, which in DDR5 terms is not that fast. It's, uh, it's just above a DDR4 maximum speed basically. DDR4 I've seen as high as 4000 something. So this is a bit higher than that. But it's still DDR5 speeds. Which is I'm happy with that. More than happy with that. It can do 128 gigabytes and it supports up to two memory channels and it's got more memory bandwidth than the i7 that's why i chose it the intel hd graphics is the 770 uhd on there so i'll be testing that out as well because uh, i don't have a monitor i don't have a monitor yet or graphics card so i'll be testing that out full full power on a 4k display playing games on that so yeah Stay tuned for that. 
yeah it's pretty good i like it the maximum temp it can reach is 100 hopefully you shouldn't have to go there so yeah let's have a look at it you can overclock it because it's the k it's the k series is unlocked if it didn't have the k there if you said uh, just 13600 that's uh you can't do any overclocking on it so in the future if i want i could always overclock it make it more powerful if it does get slow but i doubt it's not going to be slow in any time soon not for a couple of years uh what else hmm f oh yeah i5 so i'll show you what the end means so if it says f at the end it means there's no graphics chip on board so you will need a graphics card if you don't have that because this is a k version k versions and the ones that have just the numbers on they have graphics card built in the intel graphics built in the ones that say f at the end they don't have graphics built in but they're cheaper but it's about 10 15 pound cheaper for 10 15 pound cheaper it's not worth it for me on my end i'd rather have a graphics chip built in for 10 15 pound more as a backup for like instances like this where i don't have a graphic card my graphics card order got delayed all the way to december 2023 which is silly but you know you can't you can't really do anything about that it's life so yeah <laughs> that's why for 15 pound more get the bloody one with the graphics staying in circuit at least you can use the pc for now and you can play games like csgo and stuff you know the small end games even fifa probably you could run because intel graphics hds whatever they're pretty decent it's not bad at all there's the processor as you can see 13600k all right intel processor thank you it's got three years warranty processor requires a motherboard based on the intel 700 okay chipset lga 1700 so my motherboard does have lga 1700 but because this is a newer gen it came out after the motherboard was made uh, I might have to do a BIOS update before this I can use this so it's one of them if I'm lucky it's already been updated but if not I have to buy a 12th gen processor update the BIOS with it then switch this one into it you know it's a bit of more headache but I might have to do it hopefully my graphic my uh, bios has been updated before he left the factory with the latest gen but i don't know if it is because he's a uh, it's not the this process is newer than the bios the motherboard so yeah let's go to open this now oh, okay i've got the seal open now intel factory seal oh, let's open that very weird packaging never seen that before oh i like that sticker though why did they put it there I can't use that now. Oh man, that's a really nice sticker. Why did they put it there, man? Could have put that on my PC. Beautiful sticker, guys. What does this actually have in here? I think this is just how to take proper care of it. Maybe installation, maybe. I'm not sure. I think it just be warranty and stuff. Yeah. Oh no, it does have a bit of an installation guide. Yeah, we're gonna install it anyway. I'll show you a video on that in the future. Stay tuned. But for now, it's an unboxing video. If I can unbox this for you. Okay, so it's nicely kept in here. Nicely packaged. You just slide it out, I think. Oh no, it's pushed in there. Alright, we're gonna have to use two hands for this one second, guys. Oh, guys, I figured out the packaging. It's a bit weird one, but it's pretty cool actually. Lift these tabs up. Oh. And then, voila, unlocks, pretty cool packaging actually, if you think about it. So I'm not actually going to open this packet up, you can literally see it's clear, you know. So, uh, yeah, and I'm not getting any protective shit on my hand. But yeah, that's the processor, brand new, very nice, it's not the biggest, which is good actually, smaller is better. Smaller is usually more efficient. So yeah, 13600K very nice it's got the heat shield on it so you'd what you do here now is put thermal paste on there put your cpu cooler on there which i've got there see down on the video as well so yeah there's your cpu Ooh, very nice 
Oh, there's no pins. Oh, very beautiful. And you got the triangle notch there, so you always know where to align it to on the board. The board will have a triangle notch as well. So yeah, this one's very easy to install. Let's put this away now. So yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. I'm really happy with the price. Couldn't go wrong. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't go wrong with that one. So yeah, lock that back in place. Look at that. It's actually a genius design, guys. Look. That is a sick design. It's a bit confusing if it's the first time using a box like this. Box design, but yeah. Pretty sick design, that. Don't know who designed that. But over here. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, anyone want to send me any hard drives, SSD ones, sponsored, then please feel free guys. I do need that under graphics card as well. Thank you guys. Goodbye.